Peace be upon you. I am Qadi Tayyib and this is Quranomics. Today's article is titled The Difference Between Doctrinal Skepticism and Method Skepticism. Doctrinal, a preconceived mental attitude which the individual accepts in an absolute way. And each situation and each situation he is exposed to is subject to his preconceived ideas and opinions, both partial and total. As for the methodology, it is a practical system and a behavioral practice that the individual uses towards the ideas, opinions, and attitudes to which he is exposed in order to take a mental non-prejudice stance regarding them. So there is a difference between the doctrine of doubt or doctrine skepticism and the mythology of doubt or systematic skepticism. The first is used in fanatic partisan education, which sees it only itself and looks at it with absolute truth, which there is no doubt about it. And the other is the absolute evil, which is the subject of doubt and everything that comes out of it is wrong, and it is not permissible to accept it. Systematic skepticism, or the methodology of skepticism, is a right guaranteed to man by God, and it is not permissible to place it under control, and its owners is, is not considered outside the laws of truth and the universe, and it is not a crime or violation when the individual commits it and is held accountable for it. And had this been false, God Almighty would have not permitted it for his prophets who are known to be infallible, especially with regard to God's right, belief, and religion. The Almighty said on the tongue of Abraham, Lord, show me how you revive the dead. He said, did you not believe? He said, yes, but to reassure my heart. This speech leads to an important fact, which is that evidence and proof are the masters of judgments and the strongest pillars of truth. It is proved to demonstrate it, and there is no shame in asking to support it with evidence and evidence in any which way. But the false positive is the one that lacks support, evidence, and proof, and therefore is afraid of being demonstrated by that. Therefore, when Islam established in the economic system the principle of the principle of accountability, where did you get this from? It, is not, it does not detract from the sincerity and honesty of the companionship and all the people after them. Rather, it came to protect them from what the saints say, what the sayers say, rumors, to preserve the cleanness of soul and hand before preserving people's money. Many people today, especially the influential among them, who have occupied high or low positions cannot stand the principle of questioning, arguing that questioning is a suspicion and suspicion is not permissible against them because they are above suspicion. And as we see, this basic principle is practiced here in the West in America, but is not practiced in the so-called Muslim countries unless you are poor, unless it's a dire situation where the government have to save face, only when it's absolutely important. This does not be practiced in all Muslim countries. This is practiced only in the West. That's why the huge difference in the lives. I am Qadi Tayyib. This is Quranomics. We'll see you. Thank you for following, and we'll see you again in another.